Well, it helped us learn the importance of not only making a design, but making prototypes that you can test early. Or else you're going to be, if you leave it to the last minute, you just work so much on your design without making prototypes, you're, you're kind of up the creek without a paddle. I've learned that planning ahead of time probably saves a lot of time in the end. This was a finish at about midnight last night after a lot of strenuous effort, but what we had originally thought would be a great design ended up being totally modified by the end, but it was really awesome and turned out a lot better than we expected. <laughs> um, you had to converge on, a di on an idea really quickly because yeah. it just took so much time to build the first prototype, mm -hmm. so we didn't have a ton of time to test that individual prototype. We had to make a final right from the beginning. Uh, mechanical design needs a lot more mathematics to make it accurate. Modeling, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot more modeling. We were crippled because we were all METs, so we needed like a ME and a double E. Yeah, interdisciplinary. Yeah. Cross, been cross better. interdisciplinary yeah, would be nice. Really huh? All right. Lessons learned, right? Lessons yeah. learned. Biggest challenge? Um, probably that, making prototypes. We, we just waited too long to actually make a prototype of it, and the time constraint was a little much. Our biggest challenge was probably um, just the mechanics of it. We thought that it would work a lot smoother. We thought we'd be done by yesterday morning, uh, but we realized when you make something purely mechanical, there's a lot of room for error and little glitches and everything has to be very precise. No, we were all mechanical engineers, but we all had a bit of experience with some electrical engineering, so we weren't totally... It would have been nice, a lot nicer to be interdisciplinary, though, and have some double E majors on our team, yeah, that's for sure. We had two electrical and two manufacturing, I knew that. Uh, and despite having half of our team electrical, we ended up doing Purely mechanical design for manufacturing and electrical engineer. So three mechanical engineers and one um, MET, yeah.